Recent elections have caused political intolerance and upheavals that led to violence, needless deaths, and a trail of destruction. So is the Kenyatta Odinga handshake the magic bullet that will bring an end to such vicious lifts? Well, Sam Gituku sought to find out, and here's his story. Until four days ago, the talk in the country had been of a handshake whose agenda only remained more theoretical than practical. During that time, political speculation was rife on what Odinga's cooperation with Kenyatta meant. Some cautious it might be a ploy to unsettle Jubilee's political game plan towards the 2022 presidential election. <laughs> For a country so delicate in matters politics, the handshake stood on shaky ground until... <laughs> Na tunataka wengine wakuja karibu na sisi, na tutembe, na kila mtu ambao kona swali tuulize, lakini tuache hii mambo ya kuchimbana huko chini chini. We are not thinking about 2022. 2022 will come and go. But what does it all mean? Mamas normally they interpret because if you are not within, you are not uh, invited for the party, then... People speculate why he was not there, was why he was not invited. Now let us look at these two individuals as if to say they are our leaders of opposition, of government and opposition. As a result of the handshake, there has been a tremendous cooling of political temperature. But what that means in going forward is something that we have to wait and see. Historically, most of the elections have been divisive, if not violent, since the reintroduction of the multi-party democracy in 1992. In the 92 election, tribal clashes rocked the country in parts of the coast and rift valley, a matter that was never resolved until in the run-up to the 1997 election, where inter-party's parliamentary group devised a formula to pick new electoral commissioners. But the 1997 election had its share of violence, a situation that attracted no political solution. Fast forward to the deadly 2007 election and post-election violence of the worst scale left at least a thousand dead and more than 300,000 displaced. To result, the stalemate the political class reached a national accord, paving way to a coalition government that provided momentum for a new constitution. <laughs> While Kenyans thought a solution had finally been found, the 2017 electoral contest came haunting. Though of a reduced magnitude, the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights reports at least 101 deaths and another 247 injured. As a country, we have never made any serious attempt to have a cohesive society. Never, ever. So far, there is no notable successful prosecution from the chaos of 2017, but a political solution in the handshake is in the offing. That handshake was to sit together as individuals and project an image that yes, we have closed the chapter, the rivalry between our fathers have now been closed. That door has been closed and therefore when they open that door it's like a doctor saying now the next patient. And the next patient is in the ills that have been hurting Kenyans throughout the violent political seasons. A committee of 14 awaits official unveiling to begin its work. A full tray awaits if the national cohesion is to be real and durable. Ile kamati ambayo ililetwa ya kuleta uyano na kuleta nchi pamoja. Ifanye kazi na ijadili na ilete kwa nini watu uwa napigana wakati wa nini hasa. Of course we have a very temporary cohesion in terms of... Um, peace coexistence by Kenyans that were that were aggrieved that elections were rigged in favor of the government. It's early to judge the committee that has not, has not even begun working mm -hmm. and it hasn't even got to my knowledge uh, an agenda in terms of reference. But what we lack is the enforcement I think we need to rain on, on voices that murmurs and if it is true that we need to hear then we have to apply our skills listening. We must rain on voices that are destructive and detract us. The question remains, will the country get it right once and for all? And that committee can do nothing 
if it is not all inclusive. That committee cannot do nothing unless the persons involved in it have the, the DNA to sort out our ethnic hate. It's certain that the truce between the president and the opposition leader has brought about a sense of stability in the country. But given the political murmurs that have followed it as to whether this will bring a lasting solution to the political question of national cohesion is a matter of hope and commitment. Sam Kitukusri ZNTV, Nairobi.